You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is the Meister by Point Slimliner Fountain Pen. That is a mouthful. It has taken me several times to say that correctly on camera. And uh, this is a little pen that I picked up off of Jet Pens for $13.50. Uh, so let's take a look at this thing. A friend of mine was like, hey, I was thinking about maybe I should get one of these. And I'm like, I'll try it out for you. So I went ahead and bought one. Went in my latest order. And uh, this is the packaging that comes in, which is just kind of this like piece of red cardboard with uh, some plastic around it and then some instructions for, I assume, cleaning it. I didn't... I didn't do any of this before I inked it up. I just kind of inked it up. So we'll see how that has gone. And uh, so we got to answer the question. Is this any good? So uh, let's do that. Here is the pen. It is uh, right about five inches long, pretty much exactly five inches tip to tail, uh, and then about four and a half inches uncapped. So this is a pretty uh, pretty small pen, but definitely in the kind of like small-ish range of fountain pens. Uh, it is uh, anodized aluminum as far as I can tell. Maybe it's just painted. I haven't had anything chip off or anything, so I haven't, uh, I haven't had any of that problem. The ends are very slightly domed. You can see, just very slightly domed, mostly flat, but you can't quite can't quite balance it on end, which is too bad because this would be a fun thing to just balance other things on. I don't know why I think that, but I think it would be. Here you have a trim ring right where the cap meets the barrel, and uh, and that's it. There's zero branding on here. Although if they wrote Meister by Point Slimliner Fountain Pen Medium Nib Black on here, it would take up the whole pen. So, uh, in fact, the, my heading here is almost as long as the pen. Yeah. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, really long name, real small pen. Taking off the cap, you can see in, inside here you have a nice liner, very nice cap liner on here, and this is going to be one of the things that I like best about this pen, and that is that it does not dry out. This pen is actually very good at being inked for long periods of time with uh, no dry out, so that's really cool. And then here is one of the, like, the distinctive things about this pen, and that is this T90 little nib. Look at this thing. Here it is next to a fingernail. Heck, let's give it a pinky nail. Can I get it close to my pinky? Yeah, I can. Look at that. This thing is small, y'all. Uh, I have pretty big hands, but still, this is real small. Uh, there is a section here, uh, but you don't want to grip it on the section because really, in reality, your fingers are going to be so close to that that it's going to be hard to get it on the page and you won't be able to see what you're writing anyway. So you'll probably do as I do and hold it up here. Now, if you hold it on the section down here, this silvery part, that's about a uh, six millimeter section, which is too small for me. Up here, it's about nine on this, uh, on this, uh, this barrel, which I think is pretty okay uh, which is about I don't know a third of an inch around basically uh, but I uh, di diameter is what I'm looking for not around you know it's circumference nobody cares about that but diameter and uh, so up here it's actually fairly comfortable to hold on to even with my larger than uh, average hands and I can still get it on the paper no problem at all uh, this pen has stayed inked for as long as I've had it, so like a month or so, and I haven't had any problems with this nib drying out. It always writes when I start it. It probably won't when I do the writing sample here in a sec, but it's because I've been waving this around for like 15 minutes at this point. Uh, unscrewing this, you'll see that this takes an international cartridge or converter, just standard stuff, comes with the converter, and really you're going to want to use that one. I think if you use any of the ones, the Schmidt ones that have like the metal band around here, it's just not going to fit into the body of this pen. There is really not much clearance uh, here in this barrel. You'll also notice that there is nothing here around the... Let me take this off carefully. There is nothing here around this nipple area to uh, protect you from or prevent you from, you know, monkeying around with this and breaking it off. So do be careful. I haven't. I don't feel like it's just going to snap off, but do use some care when putting this uh, the converter on there because uh, that's an inherently fragile part and there's no protection around it, as you'll see with a lot of other pens. But uh, yeah, that's... That's kind of it. That's this whole pen. I've had it inked with this very nice Sailor Kujaku. Uh, I think it's Kujaku. Uh, and, um, oh no, this is Yamadori. My bad. And I really like Yamadori in this pen. It's actually been delightful. There's been no problems with flow or any of that jazz. The nib, as I said, was very small. It doesn't really have any markings aside from a breather hole and like a circle up here. I don't know what any of that means, but this is a medium nib. In fact, I haven't seen any other nib sizes for this pen. Uh, then it kind of curves around the feed, which I think is nice, like a little bit of a S.T. DuPont action. Uh, actually, this reminds me of something, and I can't think where I've seen a nib like this before. So if you've seen one like this before, uh, let me know in the comments down there where it was, because I'm, I'm drawing a blank. And uh, actually, I kind of like the way this feed looks. It's kind of elegant. 
Like, it's got nice little details. Good job, Meister by Point Slimliner Fountain Pen Medium Black. Uh, it's pretty good. Okay, so let's uh, let's do a little bit of a writing sample. Let's look at it next to some other pens, and uh, that'll be it. Okay, so let's give this a shot. This is the Meister by Point Slim Liner. Goodness. Come on. Let's get going. There we go. Uh, let's say medium nib. And I haven't had any problems writing with this. This little hesitation up here, notwithstanding, because I, as I said, I have been waving this around without writing with it, which is not good for any nib or most pens. So uh, no problem there. But once you get it going, uh, this has got no problems. And for just like laying on my desk, it has had no problems getting started. Uh, it doesn't mind writing fast. It's a pretty smooth nib. Although there's just a little bit of feedback so you can tell where you're writing, which is a nice little feature, I think, with a pen this small and this light. Uh, it's nice to be able to feel it on the paper, I think. But actually, I have no problem with the width of this line. It's wet enough to let me show some sheen and stuff. It's got enough, uh, it's slim enough for me to write in planners and that sort of thing without worrying about, uh, you know, it, um, you know, taking up too much room. But I think it's a good, uh, it's a good little note-taking pen. It's a good little pen to stick in your jacket pocket, to stick in your pants pocket, perhaps, if you have long pockets, I guess, uh, or your purse or what have you. And, uh, you know, just keep around with you because it stays wet, which is really nice. And I haven't had uh, very much, uh, I haven't had any problem with ink, like, getting in the cap or being all over the nib. Uh, which is pretty good. I was a little worried about that as a problem because if you throw this in a bag or a pocket, you're going to be like jostling it around. You don't want things to bleed out of the nib, but uh, I haven't had that as a problem. There's a little bit, you can see a little bit of ink on the nib, but it's not, uh, it's no, it's not even a drop, just like a little smear. So nothing to be worried about there, I don't think. Okay, let's look at this next to a bunch of other pens. Uh, so here we have the Twisby Eco, the Lamy Safari. This is a Karan de Osh uh, 849 fountain pen. This is a uh, Franklin Christoph 35. Let me check that. Glad I checked. This is actually a uh, 25. Uh, sometimes I forget the name of this, the number of this pen, but whatever. Uh, then we have here a Woodshed Pen Company pen. This is the uh, Meister by Point Slimliner Fountain Pen Black Medium Nib. And this is a Scrix. Uh, I forget the number on this thing. Scrix. I don't know. I'm just going to say it's a Scrix pen, uh, which is this weird little pen. <laughs> it's, it's such a strange thing. Uh, kind of like a, oh, we'll talk about it later some other time. This is a, uh, this is a Kaveco Sport I got from Galen Leather, and this is a Shown Designs Pocket 6. And you can see that the Meister by Point Slimliner Fountain Pen uh, Black Medium Nib fits in quite nicely in this range as far as length. Uh, it is obviously much slimmer than anything else, including this 25, which is a fairly slim pen, and this 849, which is likewise pretty slim. So let's take off some caps, look at them, some uncapped lengths here. And again, as you can see, this actually fits in pretty well with other pen links that are fairly small. Like this little Scrix one, which is pretty much like a uh, Pelican uh, M200. And also, it's not too far off from the Woodshed pen, which takes a uh, full-size Yovo nib. But you can also see that even compared to some of these other nibs, like this 849 nib, which is fairly slim, this thing is just a minuscule little nib. Just as much nib as you need to get the job done and no more. So that's pretty cool. All right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy uh, Hope you enjoy this video and you learn a little something about this weirdo pen from Meister by Point Slim Fountain Pen Black Medium Nib. You can find these at Jet Pens where I bought mine for $13.50. And uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and also consider subscribing. A whole bunch of people aren't subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe yo and i will see you in the next video peace out all right get some nose hair out of here all right so mr nose is my cat it's not from my human nose